Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything and I have a product review of these uh, earbuds. They're called uh, Mental Beats. It's kind of a weird name, kind of outdated. I don't know if people use it. Man, it's metal, man. But uh, I found these at the local Rural King. I think they'd normally go for $9.99, but they were on sale for, or no, I think they go for $5 and I got them on sale for $2.99. So whatever they are, they're very affordable, and I was pretty surprised with the quality of them. It's not excellent, but uh, I'll give you a real quick uh, rundown here. So there's your specs. I'm not an expert on that, but if I compared it to my other headphones, it would probably tell me something. So you do get a mic and a remote control. Not the greatest, but it does work. Cable splitter, but you can't really move it. So I do like the cable. It's flat, so it's kind of tangle resistant. But it is a little heavier and it's harder to uh, fold up or something. And then you can see how it's even neatly packaged, everything molded, and then you get the replacement ear tips. So it's, I mean, usually the cheap ones come in just a little plastic shell and you peel it off the cardboard, it comes in a box, so it wins on the packaging already. Uh, one of the first problems I had was there's no markings as to which is left or right, they both just say M. I guess if you had like a audio file disc or something where you or just maybe even go on YouTube and type in right channel, left channel, it probably play at the signal and then you could find out which is which. I just, by preference, I just leave the mic on the right side. That's just me though, I prefer the right. And this is a three ringed headphone jack, so it means it does the uh, controls and microphone. I was really impressed with these, so real quick, these are the old ones I had, because most of my in-ear earbuds uh, either broke from using them in school in my bag, or people take them and never give them back like fools, but I uh, got these at Walmart again for like maybe $5, at least these are marked, they're more comfortable in the ear, I don't know why these need to be so big, I know that they're very hollow, I know the drivers aren't that big, this cable actually moves which if you yanked it, it'd probably tear it out. It's not secured, so the build quality isn't the greatest, but they do look nicer. They're very lightweight, but they aren't as comfortable in the ear as these, just because these are smaller. These don't sound as good. They're more tinny, which is to be expected. These have more bass, which most people prefer, not necessarily me. I prefer to bring bass through EQ and not uh, that. And then, obviously, I have these Sennheiser HD 280 Pros, which are my best, and these are obviously the standard for me. These aren't going to match that, but these are much more comfortable to wear just in bed or something than this. So these do have a good bit of bass. Uh, there's some decent range. They're not as tinny as those other earbuds. When I listened to the Sennheisers, they were actually tinny in comparison to this, but again, that's just because these are a little too strong on bass and you can get any sound you want out of a flat response headphone compared to these. Uh, and you can get a lot out of your EQ, just even in apps like Spotify and stuff have a basic EQ. So to show a few of the features, um, very cheaply made. You can actually see a little bit of the copper wire under there, which doesn't seem to be the greatest design, but as long as this button doesn't. So one, pauses it. Well, again to play. Uh, two skips forward. Didn't press it quick. And three goes backwards, but you have to be really quick. So two forward, three back. Kind of hard to do. There. And then it says you can adjust the volume too, but I have no clue how to. I don't think you can. And you can also answer a call. I guess if this if someone was ringing, I guess you could hit it and there is a microphone in it but I haven't tested it, I have no use for it, but it is there if you would need it. And it also works in YouTube, which I guess I can, just for pause and play, I don't think it moves to play, but that's pretty confident for uh, headphones that are like two to five dollars, so I'm pretty impressed with it. I'll just go ahead here, and pause, Oop, pause, play. And then you know other actions. Oh, I guess they do. So it does a good bit. It's pretty impressive. Again, they aren't the best, but for this price point, I think they're better than just about anything else you could get at this price point. So I would highly recommend them. Um, Mental Beats, again, I got them at Rural King. You can buy them on their website. 
probably find them on Amazon or maybe Walmart. I would definitely be interested in trying other products by them. They have some wireless speakers and they have a so-called audiophile set of earbuds that are bigger with two drivers for only twenty dollars. Definitely don't think that's audiophile, but they're probably impressive for you know the price point if these are this good for right and I can't convey sound obviously over a video like this, but I would definitely recommend trying them out if you can find them in store or online, they're definitely worth it for that price point. I'll try and find a link, uh, at least to the Rural King website, put it in the description. You can check it out for yourself, maybe try out their other products, because I would like to try with their wireless speaker or something, because they do seem to make a lot of products, and for the price, I think it's worth it. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.